Hey guys, Punk Gamer here showing you how to work with iMovie 9.0.4 or you could probably work with iMovie 10 the same way you can find them in your applications as a star with a camera inside of the icon. Now once the window opens you'll see this here. You won't have Dragon Ball. Instead what it will show is any movie that you have already added into your iPhoto videos or dragged into the new event here. Now you can see your iPhoto videos by clicking iPhoto videos and it will show you everything that you have added in and under last import you'll see the same thing only based on how recently you added them and what they're called. Under new event this is where you drag the ones that you don't want to add to your iPhoto videos. All you need to do is drag them here and you can use them as many times as you want, but you can only use them in iMovie. Now, once you, you can view your projects here by clicking on them, and double clicking allows you to rename it like so. If you have a typo or you want to add a character that it wouldn't let you put in last time, all you need to do is type it in now that you have this more editing now after you select a project that you have already made, click edit project in the ty top left and it will allow you to scroll through the project seeing what you've already put into it. You can add music by clicking the music icon and only your garage band and iTunes music shows up. Anything you've added to iPhoto will show up under the camera and standard text effects will appear under the T font icon. Simply drag a text effect to a certain spot, usually four seconds long, and you will be able to edit the text that you put in by clicking the box with the text you want and simply typing in whatever you want to type. The issue is, if you delete the entire line, it'll automatically become big, bold, white text in the Helvetica font instead of being your standard yellow and green for say the four corners. You can play it by clicking the play icon in the top right next to done and you can change the time by double clicking the text itself in the movie analyzer on the top left. If you click show fonts it'll show you all the fonts you have and by clicking system font panel you can put your own fonts in if you want to. You can delete text simply by clicking it and hitting your delete button on your Mac. To start a new project, simply click the plus sh sign shown here and it'll give you a variety of themes for movie trailers and overall projects. The movie trailers are very restrictive and I only suggest you using these if you have to for some kind of assignment it is actually a much better idea to stick to the project themes up top because you have much more free will and you're able to put whatever you want into it. You don't have to be stuck to having a landscape picture here and an action picture here. The different themes are very selective but usually you're going to want no themes so that you can have the most free will possible and not have to use the restrictions to say newscast or sports where it automatically puts transi transitions in and you're not able to select your own thing. Whenever you're typing you're not able to use stuff like periods, backslashes, and question marks. Rather the only punctuation you can really use is the hyphen. Once you open your project, all you need to do is drag something into the to start a new project, select video or photos, and drag them to this area. Simply drag it there. For music videos, which is what I usually make in iTunes, simply pull up your iTunes music and drag it into the project. For standard movies or slideshows, you simply drag whatever photo you want in. Now you're able to crop and do what is known as kin burns, selecting where a photo ends and stops, and you can even rotate your photos and decide whether or not to allow black on the sides.
If you have a project that you don't want anymore, all you need to do is right click it and select Move Project to Trash. This is the basics to iMovie 9, and thank you for watching.